Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the PDF Element Pro team and I'm going to be your host today. Most of us, at least in this day and age, are probably familiar with the situation. Your accountant, bank, boss, whoever, send the PDF document your way. They want you to sign the PDF document and send it over once again to them. Now the thing is, most people go by the old standards. They receive a PDF document, print it out, start signing it by hand, scan it in once again and send it over to the other person. This is really a hassle, it takes a lot of time and really not environmental friendly if you think about it. You sign a piece of paper that you probably throw away afterwards. But luckily for us, we are in a new kind of technological age and we also got PDF Element Pro at the palm of our hands where you can receive PDF documents, sign them right in PDF Element Pro and then send it over to the person who wants to receive it. And that's what we are going to talk about today, namely how you can create handwritten signatures using PDF Element Pro. We are going to dive right in, shall we? As always, PDF Element Pro, a good thing about it is that it's really easy to use. And it's very minimalistic. All you really have to do after opening up the PDF document of your choice that you want to sign is go over to the comment tab and then click on the signature button. And then it's going to ask you to either create a new signature or if you already have some signatures lying around, you can use the pre-saved ones. But in our case, we're going to create a new one. Now a new window popped up and now you got three alternatives at the palm of your hand. You can either hand draw your own signature by using your mouse or your touchpad or if you're like me you can use your magic finger and write on your touchscreen laptop or tablet. You can also change the color of your uh, signature if you wish or if you don't want to use a hand drawn signature you got two more alternatives. On the other hand you can type out your own signature and next to that you can also change the font you want to use and the color. Or maybe you want to go as far as take a picture of your real signature, upload it to your PC and then upload it right into the um, document for example by choosing an image as your signature. Whatever it is you want to do after you got your signature going, click onto the OK button and then we can proceed with the next step. After clicking onto the OK button, your signature is going to appear stuck to your mouse. And now you can start moving it around. Don't be afraid of putting it down for a second, okay, placing it down. And then you can still move it afterwards to the desired place where you want to put your signature. For example, down here into this window. And the cool thing is, you can also scale it down such that it fits the size of a certain window, for example. And if none of these types of signatures actually fit your taste in signatures, you can also make use of so-called digital signatures. They are like digital fingerprints that you can save and put into your PDF document. If you want to see all the steps about adding digital signatures, make sure to check out the link in the description. There you can find a detailed description on how to use them. And this basically concludes today's video. And if this video was helpful and to your liking, don't forget to, as always, subscribe to the PDF Element Pro channel, as well as to activate the little notification bell to stay updated about future features that will come to PDF Element Pro eventually, or maybe you want to participate in a giveaway. Whatever it is you want to do, definitely stay informed by subscribing, and I'm going to see you in the next video. This has been Jens from the PDF Element Pro team, and I bid you farewell. Have a great one, ciao, and please stay safe.